Hi everybody, this is Daniel Sable, and I'm here to discuss how to become a school library media specialist. Generally, people take the traditional route of completing their bachelor's degree and then going into a New York State um, and an ALA accredited registered program. Around here in New York, some of the um, schools that offer uh, library science um, are Long Island University, the Pratt Institute, Queens College, St. John's University, Syracuse University, University at Albany, and University of Buffalo. When you have, um, while you're going to school for your master's degree, what you're going to do is you're going to complete a number of internship hours that you have to do by uh, state law. And there you will learn a number of things about being a school library media specialist because you will have a mentor um, who's helping you along. Um, after you complete these hours and you've completed your master's degree, you're going to get what's called an institutional recommendation from the school that you graduate from. Um, while this is happening, I always suggest to um, li uh, library students to ultimately open a what's called a teach account. It's a New York State uh, account, a New York State website that holds all your information um, as you go through the process of becoming a teacher librarian. Um, when you do open your new teach account, you then go and you become fingerprinted and uh, they hold the fingerprints in the teach account and then as you continue on um, you um, all your information becomes accumulated in this one um, system which is the New York State teach account um, so after you graduate you get your institutional recommendation you then go on to take um, a number of state examinations some of the examinations are the um, educating all students, uh, which is a test that looks at three areas um, or three content areas, um, and you pass it, and then they register it in your teach account that you've passed it. After this, you go on to take your content specialty test, which is the library media exam. Um, this is an exam to test your knowledge and skills of uh, becoming a librarian and a school teacher. So they want to see how well you're able to combine teaching uh, with that of being a librarian. Um, after you finish doing your content specialty, a lot of people do what's called the Ed TPA. The Ed TPA, um, they have one area designated for a library specialist and with that what you do is you build a portfolio and the portfolio um, then gets submitted to the state now within this portfolio are a number of different things including videos of you teaching lesson plans um, uh, your um, interest in um, educating your education philosophy and a number of other things that your school um, where you received your, your master's degree from will help you get through them. Now the EdTPA is also graded, um, so keep that in mind. Um, the last thing or one of the last things you have to do are take the um, what they call the Dignity for All Students Act workshops and that consists of three or four workshops on um, child abuse, um, uh, being a reporter, because you now are a state mandated reporter if you happen to see child abuse, and there's a number of other things that you learn in the three to four courses that you take with this, um, with the workshops, with the Dignity for All Students Act. The last thing, and as I said, um, you've already done, is getting the fingerprint clearance which usually takes a little while, but once you do get your clearance, that also gets uploaded into your teach account. Once all this is complete, you are ultimately issued a an initial certification, 
and you have four years to teach with the initial certification and in addition to that while you're working as a school media specialist on the initial certification you're working towards getting a permanent or a um, not a permanent but a uh, it's not a provisional certification anymore it becomes more permanent um, with that being said um, you also get your tenure and then you um, you continue to work as a library media specialist uh, as a library media speech specialist I've had um, great luck in the field I love my job totally and I you know wouldn't change it for anything and I would suggest and hope that um, anybody who sees this video or is considering a career um, to think about becoming a library media specialist that either in a school setting or in an academic setting or in a medical library um, there's many areas to choose from uh, when you go for your master's of library science degree you also get some extra skill sets um, as an instructional designer and um, you know just just various different things that you pick up along the way um, so that was kind of a little bit or that was kind of the whole process so to speak of becoming a library media specialist um, it's very general but it is the overview of how you become a school media specialist so if you have any questions you could always reach out to me by emailing me which I'll put up and the email is dsable s a b o l 2 at yonkerspublicschools.org and I will put my email up at the bottom. Hopefully this uh, video helps you a bit. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.